Hey everyone, thanks first. This is what we're doing all about what's poppin' everyone. E! News can confirm the man who threatened to kill superstar Taylor Swift and her family has received a 10-year probation sentence. Frank Andrew Hoover was arrested for violating a restraining order Swift put in place after Hoover stalked her after a concert. Moving along to Sylvester Stallone, announced via Instagram that filming has begun on Creed 2. The Rocky Balaya actor, um, Balboa, I think, I don't know what his last name was, um, actor shared a short video from in front of his onset trailer screen rant, saying the story will follow Adonis Creed taking on the son of Ivan Drago, the fighter who killed Adonis' father, Apollo, during a fight in Rocky IV. Creed 2 is scheduled to bring the bell November 21st. Billy Lord honours her late grandmother in a touching way. Lord shared a photo on Instagram showing herself and her grandmother, Debbie Reynolds, on what would have been Debbie's 86th birthday. Lord opened up on her on humour, helping her through losing her mother and grandmother. Back to back, Lord plans to honour the le legacy of Debbie Reynolds and Kerry Fisher by continuing her Hollywood career. Everyone, Meghan Markle is marrying into a family of her childhood role model. A biographer wrote a publication called Meghan, a Hollywood Princess, where she describes Markle's, where he describes Markle's interest in the Princess of Wales. Markle apparently watched Diana's publicised funeral and was part of a philosophy class that debated the paradox of Diana's death. Well, everyone, Chenham Tatum and his wife, Jenna, are calling it quits. The celebrity couple announced their separation on Instagram on Monday after nine years of marriage. Their statement read, they lovingly decided to go their separate ways. They also emphasised no secrets or salacious events led to the split. Well, why would we bother watching it then? The Rock opens up about his battle with depression in an interview with Express actor Dwayne Johnson revealed that times have been harder for him than fans know. He says he went through a dark period years ago when injuries ended his dream of playing professional football. However, the worst time came when he was 15 years of age and his mother attempted suicide. He says he and his mother have both gone on to find happiness. The Rampage star says he's now using his experience to try and help others. Okay, everyone, ready player one. Got the high score at the box office in North America and scored even higher internationally. Box office mojo reports Steven Spielberg's VR adventure made $127.5 million overseas with 62 million of that figured being alone just from China. Variety says China and Korea were the movie's biggest overseas markets. That's a wrap for today's What's Popping after the break. Alison Davis walks us through a tasty fish dish which I didn't know how to pronounce.